in this question it is given a cannon fires a shell at an angle <clears throat> 45 degree so so this is the angle 45 degree horizontal and when it fires the shell so it will go like this in a trajectory so this is the initial velocity u and that is making an angle 45 degree with horizontal x and this is the vertical axis and it covers a distance let's say r so r is the total range so if it fires like this so due to gravity it will come down and it will make a total range r now it is told the horizontal distance observed is 630 meter so this is the actual distance so r is actual distance but observed distance is observed distance 630 meter and this observed distance is less due to the resistance air resistance and other resistance so observed distance is somewhere here it is it is lesser than r so r is greater than 630 meter if there is no resistance it would have covered the total distance of r in a horizontal direction now we need to find the percentage of decrease percentage of decrease so how much percentage it has decreased due to air resistance because observed distance is 630 and observed distance is lesser than the actual distance so to get that first we need to find the value of r the actual horizontal distance it has covered now to get the value of r we need to take the component of velocity into the horizontal direction and also in the vertical direction to to get the value of r so let's see that what is the component of the velocity so whenever you see that some particle is moving in a projectile in in this way so always you have to get the component so here it will be ui and here it will be ux so as this is the angle theta 45 degree so ux will be u cos theta so here it will be u is given 84 meter per second so it will be 84 to cos 45 degree same way ui will be u sin theta so you know that this so if we make a triangle then we can easily find out that the, this is the cos component and this is the sine component so here it will be 84 sine 45 degree okay now as this is the distance covered by the particle in the horizontal direction so so to cover that horizontal direction it has that velocity ux in the horizontal direction okay so we can easily put r equal to ux into t if it takes the time t to cover a distance r then we can put r equal to ux into t this is just like s equal to vt so from this equation if we put the value of ux so then we get the value of r equal to 84 cos 45 degree into t we do not know the value of t to get the value of t we have to use the vertical movement of that particle 
to get the value of t now think very carefully and <coughs> understand that see at time t it covers a distance horizontal distance r and at same time it will also go up and it will come down on the ground so at the same time when it is covering the horizontal distance from this position to this position and making a distance r so at the same time it will also go up and touch the ground so from the ui component of that velocity it will go up go to its highest position and it will come down so and this is called the total time of flight okay so at this position that y is 0 so this is 0 0 x 0 y 0 here this will be x equal to r and y will be 0 so as y is 0 we can put 0 equal to u y t minus half g t square and t is the same time the time to cover the horizontal distance and the same time ui velocity will be also utilized to go up and come down and touch the ground so from this equation and this is very important equation here it is same equation we are using h equal to ut minus half gt square it is the same equation we are utilizing here here at this position r0 r x direction is r and y is 0 and so as y is 0 so h is coming 0 here and it is getting in place of u we are putting ui because the vertical component of the velocity is ui so from this equation we will get half g t equal to ui and ui equal to u sin theta is equal to 84 sin 45 degree we are just putting the value from the above equation from here we are just putting the value of ui and we are getting this now <clears throat> if you get the value of t here so t will be 2 into 84 into sin 45 degree by g so this is the value of t so from from the above equation we get so you 2 into 84 into sin 45 and g is coming down so now let's say this is equation 2 and this is equation 1 put the value of t in equation 1 we get r equal to 84 cos 45 degree into Two into eighty four sine forty five degree divided by G. So now in this equation, if you put the value, so cos forty five degree equal to one by root two, sine forty five degree equal to also one by root two. So put all this value in this equation and take the g g is not given so then you have to take 9.8 meter per second square so put all this value in this equation it is coming 84 into 1 by root 2 into 1 by 9.8 into 2 into 84 into 1 by root 2 putting the value of sin 45 degree cos 45 degree and value of g so what we get here this is 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2 it will be 2 and this 2 and these 2 you can cancel 
this goes out so you put 84 into 84 into 10 just multiply 10 over here and you get 98 so try to simplify this one uh, if you just cut it then by 2 it is coming 49 and it is coming 42 4 8 yes and now if you cut 7 it is coming 6 then again if you cut 7 this it is coming 12 so it is coming 12 6 72 10 720 so value of r is coming 720 now <clears throat> to get the percentage of uh, actual distance actual distance observed versus observed distance is this one and actual distance is 720 so now the percentage in decrease so percentage in decrease will be 720 minus 630 by 720 into 100 so if you calculate this one so if you calculate this one it is coming 90 by 720 into 100 and if you do that it is coming 12.5 percent so this is the answer